What's up, family? What's up, family? So today we're gonna talk about why me, as a man, why I choose respect over love. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Reasons, me. It may be some of you out there that would do the same thing, but me, my preference, I would go respect over love. And here's why, man. So before I even get into it, let me just say a couple of things just to clarify what I'm saying. 21 Savage has a song, he was like, I'd rather have respect over loyalty because look, love is just an act. So basically what he was saying is, love is an action. And I, I've been saying that for a long, long time. Love is an action. Like, love can stay and be present one day, and another day you can hate somebody and all the love is going away. But if someone respects you, it doesn't matter if you like or dislike that person. That respect will always be there. Like, think about how many of you all don't like or sometimes can get into it with parents. But you respect their parents enough to never do certain things and cross certain boundaries because you have that certain respect level for them. So, with that being said, I just wanted to clarify that statement real quick, real, real briefly before I get into it. But number one, man, respect builds a stronger foundation. Respect builds a stronger foundation. Respect is a cornerstone for any healthy relationship, man. So it's basically saying that, man, with respect, any type of foundation you want to start on and what you want to build on top of that, it will go in the direction that you want as long as you have that respect present, man. Love, don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful thing. It is emotional. But over time, man, these things, it builds a constant, stable relationship, constant, stable foundation to help with that respect and help with that love, help with that balance on your foundation, man. So just keep that in mind. All right, respect also for number two, respect ensures equality, man. So you gotta think about it. Once you have respect, you can recognize each other's feelings. You can recognize each other as a equal partner. You can respect them on that level to know that, man, you're not better than them. They're not better than you. You all both have that right, man. It's like co-parenting a child. You all have equal rights, man. So just because she's the woman don't mean, you know, she can't do certain things. Just because you're the man, it doesn't mean that you can't do certain things. So just keep that in mind. So it's just that common ground on that respect level that shows, man, that you value each other's opinions decisions and individuality man that's all that's saying and it just creates a balanced dynamic like in between the relationship honestly that's what it just does so number three man respect keeps that personal dignity intact man because just think about it sometimes relationships can be based strictly on love right and then you just totally ignore everything else Mutual respect can just easily go out the window, man. Like, you can just kill somebody's self-worth, somebody self-respect. Like, you can just kill all of that just by thinking, like, it doesn't matter. So you always want to remember that matters, man. So that way they can have that level, that level of certainty within themselves. And then it just helps y'all, it just helps y'all keep that dignity amongst you too, man. So I just want to elaborate that and just key in on that part right there because just think about it man a man who is respected or a woman who is respected you would feel value for who you are and not what you provide who you are and not what you provide who you are not what you physically provide not what you emotionally provide like you would just feel value for who you are the person so that's very key man that's very important and then Number four, that leads right into it. Respect promotes healthy communication. So just think about it, man. We have a lot of toxic relationships and a lot of the toxic relationships, they lose, they lose respect. And the reason that they're so toxic and they get so wild is because the respect is gone. So you gotta lock in, keep their respect level 
up here at all time high. So even when you are bumping heads, not seeing out of eye, you can always come to each other in a respectable manner. So you won't call each other out the names. You won't get to fighting. You won't do those things because, man, in your heads, you're knowing that you're knowing that you got to keep this balance between you two, man. So just remember that you got to keep that balance between you two. Respect promotes healthy communication. It, it promotes honest communication. It promotes open communication. What, what are you doing? What, what is he doing, man? And it's vital, man, for problem solving, man, resolving conflicts. And depending, like, on certain situations, man, it helps y'all keep y'all on the intimate level as well. So just remember that. Also remember, man, the last, last one in today's video, respect leads to trust and security, which is so important and to feeling secure within a relationship for both sides, because everyone wants to feel secure in their relationship. And before you can get to a marriage point, because even marriages are not secure because you can't get divorced, you want to feel secure on that level as well. So just remember, respect leads to trust and security. Trust is a critical component of any lasting relationship when that man is respected. So remember that. So like I said, this is why I would choose respect over love. Just me personally, because you got to think about it. When that man is respected and you're valued for what you are and not what you have or who you, you know, what you bring to the table, man, you're more likely to trust your partner, do what you do in this caring relationship, which can also promote that type of healthy relationship between you two and promote that healthy bond between you two. And then it eliminates a lot of things such as insecurity in this. Just remember, man, keep the respect first, man. If you want to have a everlasting relationship, man, I'm not a relationship guru, man. I promise you I'm not. But I can say any person that's married, been married for a long time, some of my married friends, some family members, I'm telling you, will work for them and just elders in the world that I talk to that's been happily married that I see, oh, I ask people questions, man, because because y'all are not really ready for that. Y'all are not really ready to date y'all best friend. That's a whole nother topic. So we're gonna talk about that later, man. But thank y'all for tuning in with me. We had a special guest, Ice the Superstar. So, hey man, we almost 400 subscribers. Like, honestly, I didn't think before today or early this year I would be even back doing YouTube videos. But here I am doing it consistently for a little over a month and we had tremendous growth man like tremendous growth so thank y'all for rocking with me tuning in watching my videos taking time out to comment i really appreciate it some of you all share it i really appreciate you all because you don't have to do that so you're taking the time out your day to support me and look i don't take that for granted man it don't matter if i had one subscriber 10 subscribers 50 or 100 like I cherish that because I could have zero. So I really cherish y'all and thank y'all for being with me. Hopefully we continue to grow and we just keep spreading this positiveness, man. Cause look, man, black men, we just have to do better, honestly. Yeah, we just have to be better. So I'm trying to help that, like help us, help my generation because man, the rate we going, man, it is so, it's so bad because we're about to lose it all, man. But like I said, that's another video as well. So I'm just gonna keep this rolling. But remember, love can fluctuate with emotions and circumstances, but respect is a consistent force that nurtures healthy, supportive, and balanced relationships, man. Look, Dada family, I love y'all, baby. I love y'all. See y'all next time. I'm out.